we have to start looking for decency and honor. Do you know how we won the American Revolution? George Washington said once, quote, I shall make it the most agreeable part of my duty to study merit and reward the brave and deserving. He's the guy who, the very first guy in the history of all war that issued a, a medal or a, an award to the enlisted men. And it was the highest award you could get from George Washington. It was called the Badge of Merit. Come on, guys. Let's go beat the Navy SEALs. We're not going to beat the Navy SEALs. Okay, imagine a group of, we go to the American Legion. No, we go to the Trump rally. And we're like, hey, I had just interpreted what he said as, let's just go overthrow the United States. Because he might have a gun, and he can pick up a flagpole and beat the army with the flagpole. You're not going to win. You're not going to win. That's the way it was with the British. And so they knew, Washington knew, that we had to be honorable. You had to behave with honor, self-discipline. You had to be charitable. He said that's why God found favor on us. Being an American at the time was really perilous. They were in the midst of a miracle, but they didn't know it yet. There was uncertainty and chaos. It was a breeding ground of selfishness, short-sightedness, malice, greed, dishonor, turning people in, accusing people of all kinds of stuff. Yet Washington looked at all of his soldiers and said, have none of that. Be men of merit. Now, as far as we know, the first military honor that was bestowed upon a common soldier was this. And he made it available to every soldier. And George Washington was sending a message that in America, any soldier, any person can be a noble. See, nobles have lost their meaning because nobles were born into it. And so I'm noble. And so whatever I do, I'm a noble and I can get away with anything. Hello, Hunter Biden. In George Washington's time and now we need people who understand what it means to be noble. We need men, but we also need women that are noble. It used to be that women got it. And men were only behaving because women got it. Now, (laughs) God help us. America is heading down the wrong path, and we have to be on God's side. He will not be on our side. We must be on his side. When Abraham pleaded for God to spare the people of Sodom, He spoke about the virtuous remnant. He begged God, please spare the nation. If there's just 10 righteous people in it, we have to ensure that this nation has at least a remnant of righteous people. So when we approach God for help, we have some standing in his court. You might remember I gave out my own version of Washington's badge of merit almost 12 years ago. It was around the time of the Restoring Honor rally. I've decided we were so early on everything. Now is the time. Now is the time. I know our nation is still filled with people of virtue. I know there are people on all sides of the aisle that are trying to do the right thing, that don't want to condemn everyone who disagrees with them, who knows the difference still between right and wrong and decency, common decency. They are the people, God willing, who will save this nation. And I want to lift those people up as a model because we need one of the first things the left did was destroy all of our heroes. So we have no heroes. I mean, did you see what did you see on Juneteenth? What what was it? Was it St. Louis that no, it was New Orleans that instead of a statue of a great African-American, they put a, a hair pick in front of City Hall. What is... What? They don't want you to have any role models. I want all of us to get into the habit of recognizing people of merit in our own community, just like George Washington did. So, 
I want to start something new. I would like you to nominate community members for this award. I, it, we've set up a system for you to write to us and nominate anyone who you think have behaved with virtue, kindness, merit, and integrity in the hardest of situations. Somebody that will just stand and take the beating, but they will not sit down. Somebody that has gone way out of their way to help and be, go- and be kind and generous and charitable. The award is open to anyone. Man in Phoenix, just the other day, owns a gas station, decided to sell his gas for 47 cents cheaper than he buys it. And he did it just to help his community. He said, my mom and dad taught me to help if you have something. If you have something you can share with other people. Well, God gave me help. We're not here to make money right now. I'm very happy just helping other people. That's a man of merit. That's a man who gets it. Doesn't have to be a public act. I'd like to honor parents that are raising their children to know the truth. Who are standing up in their school board meetings. I'd like to celebrate the business owner who refuses to kneel at the feet of wokeness. I'd like to recognize a teacher who will stand against their own teacher's union. I'd like to recognize the neighbor who checks in on the elderly woman next door from time to time. I'm looking for pastors that will stand up even though they know they'll lose people in their congregation. But they have to say it. Because we're so far off the path. Anyone who's living with hope and acting in love and serving their fellow man. Nominate them for a badge of merit. Send an email to merit at glenbeck.com. And here's what you need to include. Your name and contact information. Your nominee's name and contact information. And the story of your nominee's act of merit. I really would prefer that you didn't tell them in advance. But nominate them Um, because we need to hear their stories. I'd like you to do it maybe in 300 words or less, really, because the staff, their eyes are about to fall out as it is. Uh, So if you could do it 250, 300 words, that would be great. And from your nominations, I'll be selecting um, outstanding citizens to be recognized on the air and receive our badge of merit. Nominate someone in your community for a badge of merit now. Email merit at glenbeck.com. All the directions and everything you need to know is also up at glenbeck.com, my website. But do that today. This is, yeah, this is the one thing I told you a minute ago that I was going to suggest that could help save our country. I know there's a lot of people who are like, oh, geez, that's not going to work. Do you know how many people said that to George Washington? They had zero chance of winning zero none strongest army biggest military most powerful the sun never set on the british empire and a group of farmers were going to take them on there was no chance of winning zero george washington knew before even training He needed his soldiers to be people of merit. Nominate them now. Merit at glenbeck.com. 